SEMA Retention Soldiers. My name is Nikula Daz. I am the general of the SEMA Retention Army, the creator of Become a Sexual Alchemist Training Program and a Sex Guru for the Modern Man. I decided to do this with my life because I saw the desperate need that we that we needed as men and as human society to learn and to go deeper into our own sexuality, to become more connected again with our sexual energy, and to learn the secrets of sexual energy, which aren't really secrets because depending on the books you read and who you hang out with, it's kind of known amongst many cultures. But in this modern culture, it seems that this information has either been suppressed or oppressed. I'm not sure. I don't care. My mission now is to get it out to as many men as possible and grow the semen retention army. So ultimately, we can grow men and we can grow leaders and we can have an awesome life and we can use this energy in a positive way in the world. And I feel that it's desperately needed. So I am going to uh, D Smith says, I just started semen retention 14 days in so much clarity right now. Boom. Awesome. Lucas, you say you cannot hear me guys. Can any, everybody, well, you're asking questions. So I'm going to assume you can hear me, but I'm going to double check, put a yes in the chat. If you can hear me, sir, what's your opinion about meditation on no I will answer that question at the end of our training. That's great. You say we can hear me. Yes, we can hear me. Okay. Lucas. The other guys can hear me, so please uh, maybe come back out, come in. I'll just leave a note for him. Everyone can hear me. Okay, awesome. Welcome. Perfect. Good. All right, guys. And by the way, if you're watching this on the recording, you know you can uh, make sure that to contact me and send me your messages as well. I definitely look forward to hearing from you and answering. All right, let's rock and roll. I'm going to share my screen, and we're going to dive into... Sex Mastery 101. And there it is. All right, guys. Welcome to Sex Mastery 101. Quit porn, stop masturbating, have real sex. If you're on the spiritual path and you're practicing brahmachari, don't have real sex. Use these techniques. I'm, I'm training many brahmacharis. Uh, many different men on many different levels. The beauty about this training is that you can use it for what you want and what's important in your life. I'm simply going to share the techniques and the science behind it. What are you going to learn? You're going to learn simple tantric methods you can use right away to last much longer in the bedroom. And when you master them, you can last as long as you want. You can have multiple sex sessions and never ejaculate. You're going to learn the method to having non-ejaculatory orgasm so you can satisfy that sex drive. So you're not struggling with it, but still retaining your semen. And you're going to learn the difference between what a, a male orgasm is and what an ejaculation is, how to overcome porn addiction. And quite honestly, you can use these techniques to overcome any addiction that you truly desire to overcome. I'm going to show you how to use your sexual energy to manifest a life of abundance in uncertain times. Right now, we're living in very uncertain times, but people are thriving. I know the, I'm thriving. The, sex, uh, the semen retention army is growing. And right now, we're in an uncertain times. Some businesses are closing down. People don't know what they're going to do financially because of the situation that we find ourselves in today. But with a strong energy and mindset, you can flourish no matter what the season is and the scientifically proven benefits of semen retention so that you can live the semen retention lifestyles, but have the techniques to do it without the blue balls or the sexual frustrations. So let's get energized. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen so that you could see me. And I wanna share with you one of the breathing techniques from the Sexual Alchemy Training Course. This is called Tumo Breath. The word Tumo means fire. This technique comes from the Tibetan yogis and it's used to give us energy. It's used to fire us up. Some guys come to me because they have low libido. They say, hey, I, maybe I've watched a lot of porn. I masturbated and I just cannot get aroused to a real woman or my fantasies aren't even about real women anymore. 
Some people come to me because they have erectile dysfunction or premature ejaculation, and they want to feel more, more into their sexual energy, and they want to learn to master it. Tumo breath is great. Instead of turning to caffeine or some other stimulant, you can use Tumo breath to energize yourself. It's a great technique to have in your toolbox. I'm going to sh- I'm going to share the the different elements of it and then we're going to do it together so you can experience Tumo breath. Now, I will say if you've never done any type of breathing like this before, you may get a little faint or lightheaded. It's not dangerous. You're simply working with breath with your breath. But if that happens, take your hands and just plant them onto the ground and that will ground you. Just stay there until you come back and you feel good. And then you'll come back up and join and just go a little bit lighter. All right. So what you're going to do is we're going to start off with nine warriors breath. A warrior's breath is going to start off with a full exhale out. And then you're going to breathe fully in. That's a warrior's breath. So we're going to do nine warrior's breath to really just get our oxygen and energy pumping. Then you're going to do the tumo breath. So you're going to take a deep inhale, fill up the chest, move that air down to the stomach. And when you move the air to the stomach, you can put your hands on your stomach to anchor your mind into the stomach, into the, what the Taoists call the lower Dantian or the in the yoga chakra system, the solar plex chakra, or you can look at it as the fire of digestion, your, your, your digestive, your, your, your stoking your fire or digestive system, which is your fire. When your fire is stoked, you become energized. And when you become energized, you become clear, you become more conscious. And as men, we become more grounded in our bodies. We're aware, we hold a level of consciousness where we can understand that we are a a, a transcendental to our body. We are consciousness, but we anchor in our body. So we feel powerful and strong in ourselves. Most men in this modern world because of porn, ejaculation, misuse of sexual energy and misunderstanding, just simply not understanding how we work as an energetic being. What, how does our energy body work? Most of us have very weak Dantian, so we lack courage, power. We lack the ability and strength to be grounded and ground others. So that's why our world is so flighty right now, <laughs> right? Everybody's up here. So what you wanna do is move the air down And then you're going to squeeze the, like you're doing a Kegel. So imagine you had to pee and you squeeze the pelvic floor. So everybody try that now and squeeze so that you can get the feeling of it. You're going to squeeze the pelvic floor and then you're going to take your diaphragm and push it down. So your stomach should pop out, right? So it should be like, boom. And you see how my stomach is protruding out now, right? It should pop out. Okay. Okay. In this way, what's going to happen here is you're going to create like a compression. So you're like compressing your stomach. And then through pursed lips. So imagine you were drinking from a straw, but you're blowing out. You're going to blow out slowly and even evenly. With your mind anchored. In the solar plex chakra, you can even use a visualization of fire. And as you're blowing out, blowing from that fire, stoking it. You may notice you, depending how strong you do this, you may notice you get heated up. Well, I want you to be in your body. I want you to listen to your body. Sexual alchemy and becoming a semen retention soldier is largely based upon you being connected back with your body and being in control of your body. Most of our minds are anchored outside of our body. It's anchored out here. So we spend all day out here. Sexual alchemists and guys who work with me learn to work in here where we alchemize our inner world. We consciously create the inner world of your choosing 
and then you show up in this and create in this outer world. And sexual energy is the link to being able to do this because it's your basic motivation. Now I'm gonna get into the science of it in a bit. Let's do two more breath. All right, so follow along with me, nine warriors breaths. I, I know it's a lot, I will talk you through it, all right? So everybody exhale out. Now you're gonna do your nine warriors breaths, follow me. Take a deep breath and fill up your chest. Move that air to the lung. Clench the perineum like a Kegel. Compress the stomach and warrior's breath, even as you can. You can do a lion's breath at the end to cool. Now check in with your body. Put your awareness into your body. Forget the porn, forget the groceries, forget sex. Just feel and connect with your body. Let's do one more round. All right, everybody, we're gonna breathe out nine warriors breaths and then i'll walk you through the tumo breath let's do it and begin All the way in, fill the chest. Move it down to your stomach. Cleanse the perineum, Kegel. Compress the diaphragm. Out with the tumor breath through pursed lips. Lion's breath to end. All right, my soldiers, my brothers, tell me in the chat box, what was their experience of that breath? How does your body feel? What's your mental state? Check in with your body, check in with yourself and tell me how you're feeling. Right now, I'm feeling alive. I'm tingling all over in my body. I'm feeling clear and I'm feeling grounded in this moment. I don't feel scattered. I feel here. All right. My man says, feel strong. I'm not going to say your name only to respect if you don't want your name on the recording. So feel strong, a lot to focus on, but feel good. Awesome. Good check-in. Definitely reminds me of Wim Hof breath. Makes me feel a bit lightheaded, but en energized. Yes. The more you practice, and I mean, I got a, a practice called transformational breath work inside of the training program that will just blow. It's like, take this times a hundred. And, uh, but what this does is it alkalines your body. It resets your body and largely getting over whether negative behaviors correcting or learning to last longer in the bedroom or learning to meditate deeper is first getting your body into a, a state in which your mind can penetrate deeper into your own awareness and reality. You become more self-aware uh, as you reset your body and move your body. Most of our body, because of all the toxins and all the crap that's in our food and our lifestyles and the porn, and all, most of our bodies are toxic. Now, our bodies are super resilient, so we get away with it kind of, but we never reach capacity. We never have full energy 
if we are living in a toxic state. With these practices, you learn to continuously put yourself and reset your body and reset your energy. And once you can do this, um, you can see that you've got a lot of power within this world. Uh, feel very good and feel awake, bro. Fantastic. Thank you guys so much for the comments. I do invite you to participate when I ask questions and I'm asking you to, you know, drop a line and participate. It's so that you anchor the lessons. It's so, so if you're watching the recording, write it down, you know, shoot me off an email, you know, uh, uh, about with your answers after, um, I'm here to train you. That's what I do. I train guys to become semen retention masters. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that at the, at the end of, uh, you know, but the point is, is that I want to hear from you and I want to know what, how you're checking in because these practices will have tangible differences in your life. Okay, guys, let me share my screen and let's keep rocking and rolling. So that's two more breath. One of my definitely favorite practices within the, uh, within, uh, within the sexual alchemy playbook. The state of manly affairs. Where are we at as men overall? Well, the average man lasts about five minutes in the bedroom, while the average woman needs at least 20 minutes to get, an or to get into an orgasmic state. Reports say one in every 10 men is addicted to porn in the USA. Uh, I believe it's way more than that, um, but this is reported. This is what men who are standing up and saying, I have a problem. There are a lot of men suffering silently. One in every four men are experiencing erectile dysfunction are, and are under the age of 40, meaning uh, erectile dysfunction used to be an old man's problem. Now it's a 20 and 30 and 40 year old man's problem, right? Um, there's tons of problems such as uh, men's increasing of, of experiencing depression, social anxiety, lack of motivation, insomnia, memory loss, fatigue, and mood swings. More men are taking testosterone boosters now than ever before. I'll share a, a scary stat, which is since the 1920s, overall as men, we have been dropping in testosterone levels. Literally, our testosterone is less and less and less. And so this is a this is a challenge because without good testosterone levels, all of these other things are going to show up. All of this uh, uh, depression and social anxieties can be reversed when a man is healthy and his hormones are balanced. And that starts with the testosterone levels. Guys, I'm just going to ask you to go on mute just to keep, uh, yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. All right. So you can see, guys, we're not in a, in a great state. 50% of all marriages are ending in divorce. And women's dissatisfaction in the bedroom is more and more increasing. Um, women buying toys and turning to lovemaking dolls and participating in what used to all be a, a male dominated sex industry, women are now sharing within the sex industry as well. Um, and, you know, there can be that can be looked at in multiple ways. So I'm not going to demonize that or say that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that overall, the one of the factors um, that uh, that has been uh, that has been documented by interviewing women who are participating more and more within sex industry is simply trying to find more satisfying sex. And so, um, you know, as men, we can do a, a good job showing up there as well, uh, especially for men in long term relationships who want to spice things up and keep things expanding. This is all possible with this type of work. So you got to ask yourself, what do you want, though? Why are you here? What is your journey about? Do you want to have total sexual control and have the best sex of your life? Do you want to manifest abundance in your life? Do you want to take your energy to the next level so that you can show up better at your career or at your sport or at your art? Do you want to be calm and centered in a chaotic world? Do you want to put yourself in leadership positions and increase your social status and be okay with these things? These are human desires that you have and that you need to learn to work with. It's about how you use your desire. In the sexual alchemy mindset, we don't, we don't suppress and we don't condemn. We use what we have and we've got anger and we've got lust and we've got greed and we've got it all. So now we're going to learn to alchemize it to use it, to transmute it. Do you want to attract, you know, hot women or increase the passion and sexual tension in your long-term relationship? 
Do you want to have unlimited energy without the use of uppers or substances or, you know, abusing anything? If you want this, you're in the right place. And for those on the spiritual path, if you want to have greater control over your sexual thoughts, your sexual energy and the flow of that energy for transcendental experiences, sexual mastery is a must. So who am I? How did I get to this work? Well, just quickly, as I mentioned at the beginning, uh, I'm now the general of the semen retention army. I'm a sexual alchemist trainer. I'm a coach for men. I become a sexual teacher for men. I didn't set out to do this, but it was through my own personal development. I've been part of the personal development industry for a decade, and nothing has transformed my life more than this knowledge and this practice. And I've done affirmations, and I've done Reiki, and I've done all kinds of different things. Like, I mean, you've... It's, I've done the crystals on my forehead and, you know, all of that stuff. I've done it all and I'm cool with it. I think it's all has its place in the world. But I was looking for something real. How do I actually get better results in my life? I wanted to change my life. At the time that I started doing this, I was I had a successful business. I was making six figures as a coach teaching sales, but I was unfulfilled from the level of my heart. Like I felt like I could contribute in a bigger way to more people, but I needed something that I was like, how can I reach the globe? How can I, you know, really help people all over the world, not just entrepreneurs. And this is, and I was looking for myself to take it to the next level because I had capped off in my business. I was stalled. I couldn't make more. I couldn't do more. It's like I felt trapped. Maybe some of you can relate to that feeling of like, ah, oh, like, is this it? And so what I did, decided to do is I returned back to some of my core roots of Napoleon Hill teaching and thinking grow rich and those, especially his book, The Laws of Success. And where he dedicates an entire chapter to sex transmutation. So I read the book again and I was like, man, he puts so much emphasis on the fact that men do not become successful in any way, spiritually, materially. Basically he says, you don't rise above the level of an animal. You'll basically be just be able to survive this, this life if you don't transmute your sexual energy. Now, Napoleon Hill wasn't a monk or a holy man or something. He was a business guy and he was a money guy. And so he put it in this context. And so I was fascinated with this. And, you know, at the time I'm jerking off every day. I'm watching porn like everybody else. You know, I'm, I'm all over the place. I got no direction. I have no real sense of identity in the world and what am I doing here? You know, I'm doing this business and, I, and I've just basically created a job rather than a lifestyle that I love for myself. And so I started seeking out teachings about sexual transmutation. And that's when I found a sexual Kung Fu and sexual alchemist teacher. It's when I discovered the world of Tantra and I discovered the world of semen retention. And so I started to dive deep into this study of both Western and Eastern science and philosophy and cultures. And it started opening my eyes to the dynamic world of sex as a whole. That sex is such an integrated, uh, such a, a massive part of who we are. It's, it's directly affects your psychology, your sexual energy and your psychology as a man and as a woman, but as men, it's directly correlated. So I started learning about the power of semen retention and the science behind it and sex as a whole and started to recognize that there's this massive, like there's so many different perspectives on sex and there are so many different ways and flavors to sexual expression, sexual restriction, or when I say restriction, regulation is a better word, uh, sexual power, sexual magic. I started learning about the, the, the Druids and the, the, the Celtics and how they use sexual magic and sexual ritual to manifest and create and how like it was almost deemed as witchcraft. So the mystic sides to it, um, the physical sides to it, the pleasurable sides to it, and to recognize they're all interlinked. And they're not just interlinked in the bedroom, 
They are, it is highly interlinked to the way you show up and perform as a human being and as a, as a man in this world. And the, when you become aware of this knowledge and learn through practice to actually transmute this energy into awareness, into ojas, into energy, which I'm going to explain this in a bit, then you learn to become super focused, super energized, and you begin to heal again at a cellular level, at a bodily level, at a hormonal level. You become balanced. And this creates a greater you. Semen retention and sexual alchemy makes you more of you. It doesn't change you. It gets rid of all that crap that isn't you. And it gets you back into your nature, back into who you are as a man in this world. And then from there, you have energy and focus to decide where you want to go. And so my journey was about shutting down my business. I took on this corporate job, which I hated. I set a goal for myself. I said, I'm going to be out in one year. And I'm going to teach men sexual alchemy. And uh, I was out in 11 months. And then we launched the Semen Retention Army. And here we are rocking and rolling, training men all over the world. And uh, both about how to be powerhouses, both in and outside the bedroom, because we deal with the root of who you are in this world. Who you are in this world as a body, as a man, is highly connected to how you interact with your sex and sexual energy. So what is sexual energy? Like, what am I talking about? Well, it is psychic super glue. Sex on a physical level is sticky, right? When you bust a nut, right? You know, when you ejaculate and you look at your semen, because we all have, right? It's sticky. So what is true for the physical uh, aspects of, of an energy is, is true for the non-physical aspects of that same energy. So sexual energy physically as semen is sticky. So it also on the psychic level or the mental level, it's sticky. It sticks us to thoughts, emotions, actions, and habits. That's why if I say, hey, remember that person, you know, that, that person you were attracted to in grade five or grade six or the high school sweetheart or whatever, you have no problem remembering that person. You're like, oh yeah. In fact, if they were still around, you know, <laughs> right? You know, the one that got away, right? That's why, why? Because when you have, because you are so, you have actually stuck to them in a way. When you add sexual energy to anything, when you're aroused and do something, you stick to it more. You can't remember what you had to a week ago for, for dinner. Or you can't remember to take the garbage out, but you can remember your first sexual experience. You can remember your lover. You can remember, you know, the first porn you watched. Think about the things that you can remember sexually when you think about it, but the, but the difficulty to bring up or recall kind of, you know, everyday information. So sex is heightened in our experience and it's very it, and it has a bonding quality to it. Sex is the great multiplier. Anything that you put sexual energy to will expand, it will grow. This is why men have breakthroughs in all areas of their life once they learn how to exponentially cultivate their sexual energy but not just waste it or release it. One sperm cell in the right environment becomes a, an entire baby. It multiplies itself into trillions of cells and brings in a consciousness. It brings in a soul into this life. It is great energy. And so sexual energy is a multiplier. It's an expansive energy if it's allowed to be cultivated and grown. As a man, your sex energy is your masculine energy, which polarizes you to the feminine energy, which makes you seek a type of completion. When the body seeks com when completion, we want sex. We want to unite with somebody to be complete. We want the feminine. 
uh, when your mind wants to be complete, it seeks some creative expression. It wants to build a business. It wants some social status. It wants to, you know, uh, it wants to fix something. It wants to create something. The mind then seeks some activity to seek its completion. You'll notice that the physical never does it. And the mental never does it because those things are, even if you see completion as ejaculation, the energy builds up again and you want to do it again. So it's never really truly complete on those planes. And those who seek completion at a spiritual level, whose consciousness is in the spiritual realm, they seek completion with God, right? They seek completion with, with creation itself or with, you know, God himself in some kind of service or relationship. So sexual energy moves through your body, through your energetic channels. It's an energy that's living within you. It's your creative energy. And you as a conscious being, and the more conscious you become of it, begin to now use it. Just like you use your arm in a way that you choose because you're conscious of your arm. You can similarly use your sexual energy as you become conscious of it. So sexual energy moves through your body through the energetic channels, just nourishing you and bringing vital life force. It brings the multiplying, healing, and creative power to every cell of your body. Sexual energy is interpreted as desire. So whether you desire sex or you desire to be noticed or you desire recognition or you desire to be powerful or beautiful, sexual energy is desire. You can glue yourself to the ideal habits, visions, and outcomes and circumstances if you use this energy consciously, meaning if you recognize what you desire and you decide whether you want to desire it or not, you either transmute it or alchemize it to a different desire. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna desire ejaculation, but I do wanna desire, I still want pleasure, so I have full body orgasm. I don't even care about that. So I want, I want, you know, mental, I want, I want creation, I wanna make impact in the world, you know, like philanthropy. I don't even want that. I just want transcendental experience. You have to choose that. You got free will and choice. But whatever you set your mark to, you direct your sexual energy towards it and it will increase the desire for it because sexual energy multiplies it. Many men have trained themselves to waste their sex or their desire on fake things instead of real things. That's why I say have real sex. I take men on a spectrum. Hey, look, you know, you want to, you you want sexual experiences? Well, don't just watch porn. Have your own sexual experiences, right? You know, um, don't just waste your energy. Create your experiences. You want you don't want to do that anymore. You want to be, you know, you want to be an empowered human being and you want to be a good father and be a good businessman or be a good career person. You want to make your music better. You want to bring something into this world and make impact in this world. Then you have to glue hot white desire to it. Most men don't desire their, they, they're, they're in a way not ambitious enough. And that's mainly because they don't have enough testosterone running through their system. A high testosterone man is going to naturally have ambition. And then depending where he places his consciousness, he will glue himself to that desire. He will, he will bring it into existence. Make sure that you're directing it to real things. Fake screen stuff. You don't want to be uh, projecting your energy towards that because then it just falls boom, flat. There's no, it's not going anywhere. It's going to bond you to those images. It's going to bond you to all of this stuff. And you yourself, you're tricking yourself to thinking that you're you're getting all you're getting all you're getting laid and you're you know you're doing all this stuff. But in, in actuality, you're just becoming lazy and depleted of your energy. Your estrogen levels are increasing. Well, I'm going to get into the biological, the science of it in a sec. Overindulgence in pornography, video games, drugs, movie televisions, and other stimulants will diminish all of it. And it will make your desire stay at the lower centers of your body. So you'll only have 
very animalistic type desire and therefore your whole creative ability to create wealth, to create influence, to create impact, to help, to be a better husband, to be a better lover, or to have spiritual realization is totally diminished. It can't happen. Just it just it won't happen. So just in case you need to be reminded, here are three reasons that you want to give up porn. One, it causes erectile dysfunction and desensitization to real sex. It messes with your dopamine and leads to addictive behaviors. And it drains desire, leaving you in a state of energetic depletion and subdued masculinity. Now, you take that to the level that you want to go. You're a man. You have 100% responsibility on your life and your results. So you decide what makes sense for you and the life that you want to live. You set those strong boundaries and you create that life. And it can be done with discipline, with focus. So you have to get rid of the things that are taking your focus away, or you have to become bigger than those things where you can maintain focus and still live the lifestyle you want. What happens is when you watch porn, it increases your dopamine levels to ungodly levels, up to 200% spikes of dopamine. This is unnatural levels of dopamine get increased. The same, that can happen through real sex, but, but your mind doesn't know that you're not having real sex because it's seeing sexual images and it's experiencing those images in the body. So therefore it releases this massive dopamine, but because it's entertainment and it's not happening, it's not really happening, you're getting these, uh, these massive amounts of hits. And every time you watch a new video, you get another dopamine hit. And you got to think that's how we generally watch porn. It's video after video. It's, you know, scene after scene. That's why the cut scenes are like that. That's why movies are designed like that. Every second, seven seconds, there's a cut scene to give you another shock into this, like to keep you locked in. When you watch porn, as I mentioned, it's 200%, uh, up to 200%. Your brain compensates for this because it can't handle it. It shuts off your dopamine receptors, damaging them in the process. So this means when the session, the porn session is done, when, when, you can't, when, you're, when you're not watching porn, you're going to feel depressed, lethargic, or unmotivated. Why? Because your dopamine is off. Dopamine is not a bad thing. I'm going to explain it. It's just being used unnaturally. You have to use it in the way nature designed it. When you can't watch porn, you're going to seek other quick dopamine fixes. So next thing you know, you're scrolling through social media all the time. You're, you're watch, uh, eating junk food. You're binge watching highly stimulating shows, playing video games, gambling, all this type of stuff because you're trying to fulfill this desire. But you're doing it in an unnatural way. Dopamine's not bad. I love dopamine. It's just misused. So let's use it properly. Dopamine is a reward. It is nature's reward for you having sex, real sex. Meaning when you have real sex, you get dopamine. And you feel good. And if, when you learn to have non-ejaculatory sex, you keep all of that energy within you. When you don't ejaculate, ejaculation gives you the highest dopamine. So when you don't ejaculate, what happens is you're delaying your gratification, which increases the desire or the sex energy for that ejaculation. But when you take, take, take sexual energy as like charged energy, like actual energy. That's what's called sexual tension between two people means there's an energy that's forming, like take two magnets, right? Now you take that energy and as a sexual alchemist, you build that sexual energy, that desire. But instead of putting it towards ejaculation, you put it towards higher purposes. You took changing your life getting your health in order, getting that relationship in order, finding that partner, growing your income and setting yourself up financially, pursuits of spiritual realization. Some guys use it and still pursue sexual experiences, but they don't let that, they build that charge by never ejaculating it out. 
When you use fake stimulants, you're rewarding yourself for doing nothing. So you never build up desire for anything. It's why, that's why I said, I'm like, why don't you should want, wanting is not a bad thing. It's what you want is what you want to watch for, but you should have lots of desire flowing through you. This trains you over time to seek instant gratification and teaches you unconsciously that you don't have to do anything for pleasure or reward. You see, the reason why men uh, 200 years ago, they would spend the day more outside. Maybe they were loggers. And so they would be building testosterone all day because they're working and they're using their muscles, which so their body's going to get stronger and feed them more testosterone. And they weren't addicted to all this porn and all this stuff. And they weren't masturbating. Then they'd come home and there would be so much masculine charge in them that they would have sex, real sex. And it would never be as depleting. Even with ejaculation, real sex is not as depleting because there's a, it's a, there's a realness to it. There's actual hormonal exchange. There's actual connection. There's no connection with the fake stuff. So this makes you lazy and it trains your body to have quick ejaculations over time. You just end up becoming a quick shooter and lazy. And you associate sex right away with ejaculation. So as soon as you think of sex, you want to bust your nut. Why? Because that's what you think sex is. It's you think it's a stress relief. You think it's an ej- rather than a way of giving pleasure and a way of growing and expanding your energy. So you want to make sure that, look, you know, some of you, I know some of you are going to be like, man, I'm not going to stop watching porn, but I'm definitely not going to, I don't want to be watching it the way I'm watching it. Some of you are like, I never want to watch it again. Some of you are like, I don't even want to think about it. So you got to choose where you're at, but here are seven techniques that you can use to regulate or get rid of any vice, including porn watching. One, set big goals, set long-term goals. One of the biggest mistakes most men make when they set any goal is they set goal, unrealistic time expectations for their goals. If you have been, I learned to start jerking off at like nine, 10, 11 years old, right? And most men started at a young age. If you think that you're just going to come around and that habit's going to disappear all of a sudden, most men know the, the 1% guy might be able to do it. Don't assume you're that guy. Never assume. The worst mistake you can make is assuming that you're, you assume you're the guy who can do it on his own and do, and then not need help. Okay. That will just slow everything down. When you set five-year goals, you give yourself proper expectations and you give yourself proper growth trajectory. Right? So this is when I take my years of personal development training and sales training The way that I used to help people develop more sales is by developing skills and habits that eventually lead to more sales, but it's a, it's a cultivation process of habits. And it's the same thing with cultivating and transmuting sexual energy. So setting long-term goals takes off the immediate pressure and allows you proper time to grow. Libraries of association, understand that your mind builds what's called libraries of association. When you see someone, you already associate, oh, wow, they're pretty, they're not pretty. You know, I'd bang them, I wouldn't bang them. Let's be real, right? We're making all these associations. Um, that I like that person, I don't like that person. I like this sweater, I don't like that sweater. Where our mind is always putting things and categorizing it and trying to figure it out so that we know how we relate to it. What is our relationship with this object, this thing, Okay. When you build libraries of association, you build habits unconsciously. So here was one of mine. When Sarah, my wife, would go out, right? Um, she would, uh, I would, I would think to myself, oh, perfect. Sarah's going out. It's time to watch porn, right? It's my time to rub one out. And so she would go out and boom, next thing you know, I'm on my website and boom, I'm being depleted. So I started to associate her going out with porn and with ejaculation and with masturbation till it became such a habit that as soon as she goes out, it was like my mind just automatically went there. So I had to rearrange my association. So I started when I started, especially when I started working from home and didn't have the good habits and boundaries yet. What I started to do is I used to go and work at a coffee shop and I recognized I'd get more done. I'd get more done because mentally I would have more boundaries. I couldn't just go on a porn hub for an hour anymore. I couldn't just start scrolling through, uh, you know, girls on Facebook or Instagram and just start wanking it, you know? 
and kind of be like, okay, come on, get it together. I couldn't do that. So I'd sit at the coffee shop and just get to work. After I developed that habit, I came, I started staying back at home and recognized I was strong enough in mind where I could just, boom, go to work. You get what I'm saying? So what you want to do is you want to notice your habits, your associations, and start to consciously develop new associations. I'd use a technique called dopamine dates with many of the semen retention army soldiers at the beginning, the first few months of working with me. Dopamine dates doesn't give you the hard stop. So if you're a little bit like me, I'm a kind of rebellious just by nature. Like it's a little bit like if you tell me I can't do it, I'm like, I'm going to do it. Right. So as soon as I tell my mind, look, you're never going to watch porn again. You're never going to do this again. My mind starts desiring it more. It starts because it wants what it can have. I've created that kind of being. So I need to shift that and change that. So what I did and what I've done for many people is that we do dopamine dates, right? Okay, every 15 days, you're going to watch porn and jerk off. But here's what ends up happening. This happened for me and it's happening for everybody. Over time, you end up going, I don't even really want to do that because it takes away from how good I actually feel. You start not needing it anymore. So what you do is you, it's a trick of the mind. Rather than telling your mind, you'll never do it again. You set a date with your mind that says, hey, I'm going to do it next Thursday. And then you develop the discipline and the focus. And you tell your mind every time the desire comes up, I'm going to do it next Thursday. Thursday comes, you do it. You'll feel the depletion. You'll be like, eh, probably wasn't as good as I thought. All right, well, next Thursday, I'll do it again. And slowly you develop like a higher taste that you develop, you develop a taste uh, 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 for, the, for a, a higher way of being. You're like, no, nah, I never want to drain my energy. I don't even feel good when I do that anymore. So your association gets changed, but you play this little trick of the mind. So that's a nice technique that you can use to wean yourself off. Now, you got to watch the chaser effect so that when you do have a dopamine date, that you're not binging it out. That's why you want some accountability and different things, you know, some parameters probably around that. This is where, again, be a man, know who you are, and don't ever be the guy who assumes he doesn't need help. Frame and move. This is a really cool, this is from Neuro Linguistic Programming. It's a really cool technique. So I want you right now, everybody think of some kind of sexual fantasy. All right, don't go too nuts. <laughs> All right, just think of it. And I want you to bring that sexual fantasy really close to the mind, almost like as if you were experiencing and doing it. You know, you're, you're, you're doing it. It's happening. <laughs> Now, take that image and put like a picture frame or like a window frame right around the image. You may notice you have to compress it in your mind. Boom. Now, take that, now take that frame with the image inside of, of the fantasy and move it in your mind's eye till it's a very little tiny dot and there's tons of black space between you and that imagery. You may notice that your arousal went down. You may notice your heat, your desire, your sexual energy has cooled and it's not, you're putting space between what it wants to bond to. So now it has nothing to bond to. So it cools and stays within the system. Very powerful technique. Frame and move can be used in the bedroom when having sex and you think you're going to ejaculate and you start and all your awareness floods to your genitals. You frame and move, your awareness will come back up to your, to, your, to your higher center and you move the image of ejaculation and you'll notice that your energy will cool. You'll also, in that space, you can use it to be more present with your lover. But anyways, we won't get into that today, but it's a really powerful technique to use in the mind. Have new activities and outlets. Um, Again, you know, our, our father's fathers, our grandfather's, you know, father's father's fathers and more ancient times, we were more imaginative because we had to entertain ourselves. That's why we had such beautiful costumes and dancing and rituals and festivals and cultures. Because wh why? Because that was the form of entertainment. It was where we poured our sexual energy or our creative energy, which is the same energy, into creating cultures and nations and kingdoms, you know? But nowadays in artwork and architecture, but nowadays because our, our 
entertainment doesn't come from within as a creative process, but rather a consumption process. We've, we don't have as many gifts and talents as well we do, but they're dormant. They lie dormant in our system. So what ends up happening is through sexual alchemy, you raise your sexual energy and you begin to cut out all the rest of these distractions as your energy becomes more and more focused. And now you give yourself new outlets. So pick up the instrument, play the sport, um, you know, get involved in, 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 the, in politics or whatever it is that you're doing. The point is, is take yourself and become more involved within a community or the overall larger community in some way. And you will notice that your sexual um, energy gets one cultivated, which is really cool, but not heated. So it has a different quality. It's not like as lusty because it's being used. I spend full days, man, during the week, like I'm from the time my eyes open to my eyes close, I'm engaged in growing the army in I'm involved in politics in my local area. So I'm involved politically in my local community. I'm in the army. Uh, uh, I'm running the sexual uh, uh, semen retention army. I'm training guys on sexual energy. I'm supporting people. You know, we're doing all of our marketing. We're growing our business. At the same time, every single morning, my sudden on my practice, I do an hour and a half mantra meditation into my sexual alchemy practices and workout. And that's my days during the week. I, right? I go a little bit cooler over Friday, Saturday, uh, Sunday. Uh, but still, I always do my mantras and sexual alchemy. That's non-negotiable. Uh, just what I do. I just try to spend more time with, you know, with Sarah and family and doing other uh, like bushcrafting, spending time camping and stuff, uh, because that's something that I want to develop. So what is it that what is the lifestyle that you want to have overall? And are you molding your activities to that lifestyle, which means you need clarity. And if you're depleted of energy, clarity is not going to be there for you. So one of the biggest mis one of the biggest struggles I see with most personal development programs, it's why, you know, it's like in my own experiences, I was looking for something like this, was that I recognize that most people don't have enough clarity about what they want in the first place. So they don't have enough desire with them in the first place for anything specific that they just don't even have the, that therefore they don't have the willpower or the energy or the, 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 the vision to do something greater um, because they just don't have, they don't have a, a, a strong enough desire. So the first thing we need is actually to amplify the amount of testosterone and, and uh, sexual energy running through your system. Make porn or the vice inconvenient. So for instance, if, uh, you know, if your habit is to get up in the morning and rub one out to some porn video, uh, get an alarm clock and keep your phone outside. Um, you know, if, uh, if you're, if you're, like I said, like if, if you watch porn at night, when you put the, you know, when everybody goes to sleep, uh, start going to sleep with everybody else and just stay up until uh, at night and be inconvenienced until your body finally readjusts. And of course, that's what the sexual alchemy practices are all, a lot about is resetting the body. The tumo breath we did at the beginning, right? That was a reset of your body. And healthy releases. So for most guys, holding their semen indefinitely will not be a very wise move actually at the beginning because your body's so trained to get rid of that energy that many men experience sexual frustration, will experience some blue balls, uh, will notice that they're kind of agitated and angry at the beginning days uh, you know, and few months while you're still learning to transmute the energy. And so in those days, it's better to actually go like, you know, a few weeks, then release, then go another few weeks, then release, then go 30 days, then release. So I work with everybody up to the point where they're ejaculating maximum once per month. That's the goal. Of course, most guys like so far this year, I've ejaculated twice, right? So, uh, you know, most, some guys go longer, some guys goes less. What you want to do is you want to become so controlling of it that you are living a healthy lifestyle for you, that your habits aren't compulsory. There's no negativity, guilt, or shame around your sexual energy or releases, but that you, you build yourself up in a healthy way. 
And that also means getting rid of the guilt and the shame and the, all of that nonsense around. And I call it nonsense. I know it's there, but you know what? It doesn't serve anything to carry shame and guilt around sexual energy. It's natural. It's just being misused. Okay. It's good thing. Sexual energy is a good thing. It means you're healthy. It means you're alive. It means you're vibrant. The healthier you are, you notice the more horny you are. <laughs> Why? Because you're working well and cell at a cellular level. If you just consider yourself a big cell, what does a healthy cell do? It wants to duplicate itself, right? That's the act of sex. Right? So, so, you know, at its very nature, its instinct, sex is designed to have children. That's its function. Now, as human beings, we experience and we've added all these other layers and dimensions of sex to it, right? So you want to work your way through those layers in a healthy way. Hey, guys, I want to check in with you. With you, Does that make sense? Let me know. Tell me one thing that you've learned so far in the chat. Uh, I know I've thrown a lot of information at you. So let's take a little bit of a, just a mental break and tune in, and then we'll keep rocking and rolling. I've got some practices we can do. Um, just get, Sarah, can you uh, pass me that water, please? Thanks. Okay, I'll just read some of the comments here. Thanks, guys, so much. How are we doing with time? All right, we're doing good with time, too. Awesome. Uh, sir, I'm a single guy. I don't have any experience. No problem. Uh, in fact, I've helped a lot of, so I help guys on many different, uh, what I'll call spectrums of the sexual activity list. Uh, like I said, I've got some guys who are training brahmachari with me They They actually live in temples and they don't want any sexual activity. So they're using these practices to transmute their urges and focus on their relationship with God. I've got some guys training with me because they're porn addicted and, uh, uh, Thank you. They're porn addicted and masturbate addicted and completely energy depleted. And so in that way, they're learning to get rid of and transmute those urges into higher things. I've got some guys working with me because they want to excel. And I've got some guys working with me, uh, sorry, excel at sex, like actually learn bedroom techniques. Because I've, I have a lot of guys who, who are in long-term relationships who want to uh, expand their sexual dynamic and connection and experience. So they're learning Tantra. They're learning how to please their partner. They're learning how the pl uh, more ways to show up in the bedroom and create dynamic experiences. And I've got some guys who are uh, just learning to uh, about sexuality now because they have nobody to teach them, you know, nobody to mentor them, nobody to talk to about these things. And so I'm helping those guys. So it's no matter where you're at, uh, it's all good. I just want you to know that and just know that it's it's all good, man. This is nature. This is growth. All right. So uh, um, frame and move was awesome. I have a question. If, even if we avoid porn, there's plenty of sexuality on display in public, especially in summer. Wouldn't our sexual desire and ten tension build up the more we withhold and resist? How do we manage this increase of sexual buildup within us, uh, up in us, especially if there may be sexual triggers in public? Yeah, absolutely. So um, there, there's definitely going to be more triggers and our world is just is a sexual world, right? So there's no getting away from sexual stimulation, but through the sexual alchemy techniques I'm about to show you, you learn to use that energy. Like I'll give you one example. One of our soldier members, um, he's 44 and he's really like, you know, learning to build himself back up in a sexual way. Um, when he sees, you know, women and he said, I say, you said, Nicola, you know, there's all these sexy women now because it's summertime now. Right. And, you know, and they're wearing less clothes and I can't help. My mind is going there and I, I, I don't want to be there right now. And so every time he gets sexually aroused, when he sees a woman and he notices that mind, he then transmutes that energy by using the microcosmic orbit meditation and meditating on different points of his body. And right away, his sexual energy that tingling, that, that horny sensation that we can describe maybe as a tingling or a heat transmute from his, basically from his nuts and from his penis into his upper backs and crown of the head, diluting or changing the quality of it. So what ends up happening is sexual alchemists, you learn no matter where you're at, whether you're having sex in the bedroom or you're in the boardroom and don't want to be thinking about it, you learn to move that energy up throughout the body, transmuting it and shifting it, bonding it to, to other purposes. And in that way, you begin to keep the desire within you so that you build a lot of ojas. Ojas means aura, electricity. So the key 
is not to deplete it, but to build it, but be in control of it where your mind is focused on higher things or other things and has outlets. And therefore that electricity, that aura doesn't get depleted downward, but comes out as creative expression, power, influence, whatever nature has already dispositioned you for, you'll become more of that. Your greatness, like, like think of a flower that comes into blossom. It, it, and, and then what does it do? It comes into blossom. And if you cut it before it seeds, like the basil plant, if you cut the basil plant before it seeds, before it ejaculates, right? It lets its seed go. What ends up happening is that basil plant continues to grow and creates tons and tons of basil. It just becomes massive. So anybody who grows a basil plant knows to keep cutting it at the seed. The same principle lives within us. Keep your seed within you, but grow the energy and the energy then begins to transmute upwards. And like a flower that blossoms, you end up blossoming. Your qualities inwardly become flourished. And if you put spiritual consciousness, for those who are interested in that, behind that, it becomes transcendental. It literally becomes non-physical. It's something to experience, my friends. <laughs> uh, frame and move technique is very cool. New trick for me. Awesome. The imaginary practice. I like it. Awesome. I like the point about the dopamine date. Date. One thing I realize is that sometimes it takes about a week plus of semen retention to start feeling the extra energy. So for me, if I was masturbating every three or four days, I would never able to get there. For me, I'm interested in learning how to move the intense energy out of my genital region and circulating through the body. Well, there it is. Sounds like I need to learn that technique. Yes, that's the technique. That's what it's all about. It's about learning how to use these urges and not suppress them or not just, oh, okay, I'm not going to think about it. Yeah, good luck. You're going to think about it. The first, you know, I said like for me, the first ankle I see and it's there, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? So what you want to do is learn to move that energy from the lower regions up through the body and begin to train your body to actually transmute your energy and so till it flows upwards now i'm going to get into that, how that works in just a sec let me keep rolling fellas all right premature ejaculation as i mentioned is a is a problem for a lot of men the average man is lasting under five minutes in the bedroom the average woman takes about at least 20 minutes to warm up. And the way that we perform in the bedroom greatly impacts us, even if we're not conscious of it, of our, of our, our, our masculinity and us as men as a whole. We have two basic functions as biological animals. So just on the animal level, I'm not talking mental level, spiritual level. I'm talking, let's just talk, let's talk raw animal level. Our function is to protect our people as a tribe, fight. And <laughs> this is going to be crude, but to fight and to fuck. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't want to be crude about it, but just, you know, from a kind of a, a real raw perspective, the reason why is because from a total basic survival perspective, we need to protect ourselves, right? Defend ourselves, and we need to procreate so that our genes live on. So at a very, very basic level, we are all motivated to do these things. Now in today's world, right? We have different language. We're really like soft about it. You know, we're not like, you know, doing it in the bushes. Well, sometimes, but <laughs> that's a different story. Uh, but what we are, you know, we're, 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 we've dressed it up. We, you know, we're, 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 we've just dressed the whole thing up, but the motivation is the same. Why do you want to make more money to provide better? Because as a man, we want to provide. That's why I'm saying desire is not a bad thing. It's your desire to do your functions. And sexual energy is the, is the actual energy that drives that desire forward. So when we feel incapable to do our most basic duties as men, which is to provide and to, protect, to, provide and to procreate, we then feel less like a man now we may not interpret that that way we may not have that language 
But what that does is it shows up as insecurity. It shows up as indecision. It shows up as being kind of like, you know, timid about everything. You don't want to, you know, you, you're, you're not a penetrative force in the world. You're like here, you know? And so as men, we can get frustrated with ourselves because we know at some level that we're not operating at the highest level possible. But we may not have realized why. And this is, this is the game changer. Once you start to link your outside world to your bedroom world and you make that connection, you start to go, oh, shit. Man, I, I've really been wasting and just really misusing the power that I have literally sitting in my balls. Masturbation habits become sexual habits, meaning most guys, mas when they masturbate, you know, think about it. It's like they're hunched over, like maybe like clicking away at some kind of site and one hand on their penis. And then they're just boom. Notice it's like a vigorous activity. Even in imagination, it's like boom. It's like a release, right? So in sexual alchemy to get off masturbation, if you want to practice no fap, or if you still want to completely stop, but you don't want to ejaculate, you change your relationship with masturbation. You change your relationship with the way you perform. You start, and you'll notice that the whole quality and everything changes about it. And that's how naturally you just don't even do it anymore. Cause you're like, that's not as good as the way that I feel though. But you don't have to force that. You just allow semen retention to naturally evolve you and take you there. Most men reach ejaculation with a few minutes of masturbation. And because you do that when you masturbate, you actually train yourself. It's like muscle memory. You now train yourself to become a quick shooter. So what we need to do is we need to retrain your body. And that's why I created the Shima Retention Army because it's a training program. It's like you come in and you train and you're accountable to that training. You're learning techniques and you're learning practices that will build you back up and retrain your body and retrain the way you relate to your sexual energy. So why does this work? Why does semen retention work? Okay, so ejaculation is a function of the sympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is your fight, flight, or freeze response. Your sympathetic nervous system is when you're tense and nervous, you increased heart rate and stress. Now think about when most guys have sex, <sighs> they start breathing from the chest, they get tense, the pelvic floor tenses up, why? Because you're going for the big O, <laughs> right? That is not how you wanna do it. But this is the sympathetic nervous system, so everything becomes tense. The parasympathetic nervous system is when you're at ease, when you're rested. The sympathetic nervous system equals quick ejaculation. The parasympathetic nervous system equals delayed ejaculation or no ejaculation. So how do you do it? Well, this is where Tantra and Tantric methods really come into play because Tantra allows you to stay within your parasympathetic nervous system. Sexual alchemy practices teach you to stay in your parasympathetic nervous system while your sexual energy is aroused. So let's try a little bit of a method. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do slow belly breathing. We're gonna create a muscle control and a stimulant, and we're gonna work with our awareness, okay? So let me uh, come here up on the screen, and that way you can uh, see me. Okay, so here's what we wanna do. First of all, we're gonna do deep belly breathing. So take your hands and place them on the stomach, and Now you can stay seated. I'm just doing this so you can see my stomach. Now I want you to keep going. I want you to keep deep belly breathing and we're gonna add to this, okay? So keep deep belly breathing. Now what I want you to do is when you exhale out, keep breathing, you're gonna add a perineum or a Kegel, a squeeze. You're gonna squeeze, so out and then in and squeeze.
Now, what I want you to do is take your mind and notice and take your mind and spread your mind throughout your body. So keep belly breathing while doing the Kegel and now place your mind at your third eye. You could put your hand here to, to help anchor that spot. Put your hand on your heart. Now put your mind, I keep belly breathing and squeeze with your mind on your heart. All right, let me know what that feels like. Let me know what your experience of that is. Are you able to do it? You may notice that it's a little difficult to keep your mind placed in certain points and that's going to take practice. It's going to take training. You may notice it may be hard to deep belly breathe and focus on the Kegel at the same time. It's going to take practice. It's coordination. Now, the beauty of that practice is, is this is actually how you begin to have non-ejaculatory orgasm. It's the foundation. And it's also how you last longer in the bedroom. Because deep belly breathing cools your sexual energy. The perineum pumps it up. And by focusing on higher centers, your energy goes where your mind is. Your energy flows towards your third eye. So imagine you're having sex. It's a breath out, breath, and it's a squeeze in. Mind at the third eye. Now, this is when you start to get into sex magic because in the third eye, you then picture the amount of money or the next client, you start to picture things, you start to communicate or impress upon your vision onto the ether of the universe. And that's how you start to communicate and activate, consciously activate, you know, things like law of attraction or uh, specific, you know, karmic reactions. Why? Because you're now operating at a level of vibration, right? But anyways, you got to first master the foundational stuff. <laughs> I get too excited. Okay. Um, so someone says sensation in the third eye area. Awesome. Fantastic. What about anybody else? Let me know what feelings you get. Was it easy? Was it difficult? Someone says, yeah, totally. This helps a lot with leadership roles as I at work. I've noticed. Yes, absolutely. Uh, as you begin to learn these sexual uh, techniques and these transmutations, you're just, again, it just, they're, 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 they're techniques that were largely de designed by the yogis and the Taoist monks, and I've used combinations of both, right? To, to evolve us as men, to literally, and they look at it very like scientific. They look at it as like, maybe like as cells, like how do we make the healthiest cell? And the healthiest cell will then produce, if, a, if, if you're a man and you're a healthy man, well, you're gonna then be a, a provider. Because your mind is going to, your consciousness is going to be there. You're going to provide. You're going to protect. You're going to be procreating if you want. You're going to be in control. You're going to be sensitive and sense controlled. You're going to be sensitive to the energies around you and how to show up for your partner, for your lover, for others. Right? And you're going to work on it. You're going to get better. We have to evolve as men and as, 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 as people. Uh, sir, it was easy. Fantastic. Needs a lot of practices. Focus on and coordination. Yes, it does. It needs practices. Um, as I said, Guruji, I'm here because I don't want to miss any of your valuable content. Thank you. Ashwin is part of the SEMA Retention Army. Um, and uh, and as he's doing fantastic. He works with the accountability tracker, the practices. Um, so thanks so much for being here, brother. And vibration in the face, especially in the chin area. Awesome. Fantastic. Yeah. So look, Everybody's going to experience it differently. So don't compare, but be inspired. The reason I like to share how other people are, are doing in the experiences is because we need to learn from each other, but you are need to know your body and you need to be solid in you. And that is the goal of a semen retention soldier ultimately is to become so solid in themselves that the outside world can't shake them. And they're going to do the things that they know are on their responsibilities, that there are their duties. You will do your duties. You'll do your responsibilities. You'll, you'll, 
know how to say no to the distractions of life. And you'll recognize that as men, we are most fulfilled when we are doing our most basic functions. And then we are operating at higher consciousness levels. So function wise, two people can be doing the same function. Two people can be going to work. The sexual alchemist is going to work and he's consciously creating his life and his, and his destiny. And he's consciously creating his experience. So even if he doesn't like his job, he begins to reshape it and uses it as a platform to get himself and launch himself to the next level. The, the normal man goes to work and just complains all day, hates it, but does nothing about it, then goes home and tries to escape his reality through ejaculation, porn, and all of these kind of things. The sexual alchemist creates experiences. The regular man escapes experiences. This is the difference. All right, guys, I'm going to keep rocking and rolling here. So that is a simple tantric method that you can use to last as long as you want in the bedroom. But of course, it's going to take practice, but you can use that right away and start practicing it. If you want to add a, an up level to it, self-stimulate a little bit, 40, 50%, and then do it. And then put the third, put your awareness points at different points of the body and whoo, you'll feel those sensations even more. So the way that I train is I first do it and show you unaroused energy then you train with aroused energy because then you're going to use that sexual energy, which is normally volatile, but now you're going to have dynamic control over it. So you want to build your sexual energy. When a man is aroused, sexual energy is building up in his genitalia. Pressure builds and it will need to be released somewhere. And it's usually the path of least resistance. So for a normal guy, the path of least resistance, it's out the penis for a sexual alchemist, the path of least resistance is up the body through the microcosmic orbit. As the energy moves upwards throughout the body, the energy is experienced internally instead of it being experienced as an external loss, it's experienced as an internal gain. Energy is recycled internally and no semen is lost. By doing this, you can have sex for hours without ever needing to ejaculate, you can build that sexual energy and tension with your partner. So when you guys aren't having sex, you're still connected. You're still dynamic. You're fun. That's what makes a relationship fun is sexual passion, right? When you don't have sexual passion, it just becomes mundane and boring. This is how you have non-ejaculatory and full body orgasms, because as you open up the microcosmic orbit, that energy begins to flow upwards and you begin to relax into your sexual experience. And when that energy pulsates and it rumbles, instead of rumbling and pulsating outwards, it, <coughs> excuse me, it rumbles and pulsates upwards through the spine. And that travels through the, all the energetic highways or channels of the body, which then gives you full body non-ejaculatory orgasms. At first, they're subtle, but then as you continue to train, they become more and more intense. This satisfies the need for the orgasm, but you don't actually lose the semen, so all your best nutrients and enzymes are kept within you circulating through the body. So let's practice a little bit of the microcosmic orbit. Now, we're just going to do a small one because ultimately there is a few preliminary activities or, or Qigong flows, if you're familiar with Qigong, like moving meditations that I use to help you open the microcosmic orbit. But just to give you a basic practice, you're gonna learn a few different points along the microcosmic por portion. Ultimately, a full microcosmic uh, edit meditation would include 21 meditation points in the body, okay? We're gonna do a quick one of seven, okay? So the first place that I want you to meditate on and put all your awareness, you can place your hand underneath and touch if you need, is between the testicles and the anus. So right at the bottom of the pelvic floor, right at the bottom of the, of the, of the body. And this is going to be your root or your ground and place all your focus and energy there. And just hold it. Hold your focus there. Notice if you can feel a tingling, maybe a heat. If you can't feel anything, the feelings will come. For now, 
Use your imagination. You can imagine fire or a, a, a point right at the bottom of your body, right at that point between the testicles and the anus. Now move that point to the bottom of the spine, at the bottom of the tailbone. Hold. You could put your hand there to help hold your mind. Hold your mind. You'll also notice how probably lack of control you have on your own mind. If it's difficult for you to hold your mind in a singular point, it's, it's revealing to you how much your mind is just floating around without your conscious attention. It's like you don't have grips on your reins. Like imagine being in a chariot riding with horses and you loosen the grips on the rain. Well, those horses are going to go everywhere. But once you have good grip on the reins, those horses, those are going exactly where you want them to go. Now, take your awareness and place it in between the shoulder blades, right in between the shoulder blades, in the back. Now take your awareness and place them on what's known as the jade pillow. So it's this where the spine meets the skull, that soft spot right there. Very powerful activation center. There's meditations where, you, where we meditate, sending energy through our bodies. And uh, they can be very healing, very activating. At the top of the head, put, place your awareness right at the crown. Notice if you can feel the crown. I can feel the tingling right at the top of the head and expanding just upwards. I can feel it maybe up an inch, maybe two, up my head, up my physical head. So I'm still... I'm just outside the physical body, but within the auric body, the auric, the auric field, your energetic body. Now move to the third eye between the brow. You can also move your two eyes and look at the third eye, like look at the brow internally to help anchor your mind in that space. You may notice even a pressure on the brain, depending, or energy moving up to the brain. Like I noticed when I first did it, a flood up, and now it's evening out, so that pressure is gone. And now we're going to do uh, in between the nipples and the chest. Like right where the nipples are in between be in the sternum. Putting your focus in the heart space. If you continue on to the becoming a part of the army, you know, we'll work lots with the six healing sounds and healings of our heart, connecting our sexual energy and our heart energy to alchemize it with more loving energy, supportive energy. And we'll do one more, which is the Dantian. So back at the center. So about uh, a finger or two, if you wanna know where your Dantian is, you take your belly button, place your two fingers just beneath your belly button, and it would be like there, at the deep, imagine like two strings going here and two strings there. And it's at the point of the center in your being is where that energetic point will sit. 
it's a little bit different for everybody and everybody feels it a bit different. For me, it feels like tingling, like, like a little electricity. All right, guys, tell me if you were able to feel anything or move your mind around. Was it difficult? Was it easy? The uh, full microcosmic meditation, again, as I mentioned, there's 21 points within the body where you meditate on. And you'll notice, even if like, for instance, I've trained in Reiki, which is an energy healing modality, and it's all about focus of the mind. Wherever your mind goes, energy goes. Like right now, just by doing this, as soon as I put my, because my mind, my awareness is in my hand right here, my hand is already heating up. Now, the more practiced you become, the more of an alchemist you become, an energy worker, then you're just going to be like, focus on this, zoom, zoom, you know, like a little Jedi mind tricks, you know, a little Jedi knight kind of thing going on. So uh, it says, I felt like I was wearing a crown. <laughs> awesome. Easier to do on the points on the head. We need to practice the points below the waist. Yep. You'll notice that some points are easier than others. The points that are that are not as easy, uh, those are the points you need to work on a little bit more. You probably have some energetic blocks. Many guys can't feel the points below their waist because they're very disconnected from their sexual energy. Their heart and their sexual energy, boom, totally disconnected, right? Their intelligence or their intuition and their sexual energy, totally disconnected. So because of that, there's, that's why they can't get on track, can't make a decision. You have to act, remember, you know the word Jedi means light, right? The idea is that your light body, your energy body, your, has to be like, like a, uh, what do you call it? A lightsaber, zoom. Your spine is your lightsaber. You have to keep that energy flowing and tight. Boom. That means you have a strong energetic body. With strong energetic body, out ripples think of think of like a, like like a wave of energy a vibration and then from that will ripple out its its other dimensions you know all the way to its physical dimension so you have to keep your energy body tight and clean and circulating and this is the this is what the yogis and the the mystics and the taoists and the monks and the esoteric traditions See, they study that. Western science studied semen retention on a biology level. And the Eastern science is studied on an energy level. And the semen retention army, these two things meet. <laughs> we meet in the center and say, we'll just take the best of both worlds here. <laughs> so easy for me. Mind instantly calms down as soon as I had to put my hand on my pelvic area and a feeling cooling sensation there. Okay, cooling. Yes, some people will feel heat. Some people guys will feel cooling. Water, I've heard it described as water. Everybody's going to describe it a little differently. Um, I can relate to that disconnect. It was some easy, some was difficult. Yes, that's, and that's cool. We're just pointing out. It's, it's all about, it's all about healing, my brothers. <laughs> like at the end of the day, you know, it's like, it's, it comes down to restoring ourselves back into balance, back into who we are and, uh, and operating at a really like good functional level meaning from a first at a body are we functioning well in our bodies and as we function well here then naturally because here if you ever seen the movie avatar right or like neo in the matrix they know they're not the avatar neo knows this isn't real he knows it's his consciousness which is projected into the matrix or into the avatar but they're master the avatar. They've mastered the body so they can do all these things within their reality, within the space in which they're working with, which in which the activities that they are engaged in their, in their field. So in this sense, this practice is about learning to become so solid in your energy body that your consciousness and awareness is locked in there. So whether you're in the bedroom or you're in the boardroom, or you're in the temple room, you place your energy where it needs to go in the right spirit it needs to be because you have mastered your light body or your energy body. And you need to get to a certain level of that to be able to, to, to really understand, like, like to be able to be effective in this world. And then, you know, you can, at that point, I'll leave it up to you. That's where I take guys to. And then, where you want to go after that is up to you. 
Um, <clears throat> okay, 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 cool. Let me keep sharing. We'll keep rocking and rolling. I appreciate the participation and uh, you guys sticking with me. We're almost here right at the end. Uh, pelvic floor tension. Yeah, so strengthening your pelvic floor is a must as part of your overall health. Um, Kegels are awesome to strengthen your pelvic floor, but too much Kegels can cause hyper, hypertension and gets you to tense up, uh, activating your sympathetic nervous system and triggering ejaculation. So a lot of guys are doing Kegels because they're learning that that's the way to control their ejaculation. That's true. And uh, there is such thing as doing too many Kegels. I've got some guys working with right now because they've done too much Kegels. You know, they read Montuk Chia's book. They did Kegel, 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 and now they're ejaculating. They can't last 30 seconds. Why? Because they've hypertension their pelvic floor. So I teach Kegels as well, but I also teach reverse Kegels. So Kegels are important because they bring a lot of awareness to those lower centers as well, which we are disconnected from, many of us. Notice how you squeeze your pelvic floor involuntarily during sex or masturbation. The stronger and more aware you are of the pelvic floor muscles and, and your Kegels, then the more control you're going to have over uh, your, your, your involuntary tension that's created during sex or by giving a speech or anything else. This causes the penis to become more sensitive and you to ejaculate quicker. So the cure for pelvic floor tension is reverse Kegels, which relaxes the pelvic floor or pushes it out. So if a Kegel is you're, you're going to hold your pee back, a reverse Kegel is you're going to push your pee out. You're actually pushing outwards in that area. By conscious masturbation and sex, you train your pelvic floor through breath and awareness to relax during sex. Deep testicle breathing is how to do this. And you're going to learn that, that those type of techniques within the course and practice release tension from your body constantly. You can use deep belly breathing as a start. The more you learn to relax while being aroused, the better you will become at lasting longer in bed and having non-ejaculatory orgasms. Non-ejaculatory orgasms is a different sensation than an ejaculatory orgasm. It's a bit subtle at the beginning, but as you gain mastery as an alchemist, you will become more and more intense so that they become so satisfying as to satisfy the need of orgasm. Increased body awareness instead of just general awareness will be a natural, uh, a natural progression of the overall training and lifestyle because what these practices do is they get you to become body aware fully so that you operate not just here, or not just in your your penis, or but connected penis to head and everything in between. One light, one body, one functioning system. So you move through the body, you move through the world from more of a feeling of awareness than as opposed to a scattered mind that's trying to figure out who it is and what it is and what it should do next. You live much more in the present moment because you engage all of your body, all of your senses, including your sexual energy, into whatever you do. This way, you become a penetrative force in this world, and you are more aware, like Neo in the Matrix or like the dude in the Avatar. <laughs> the key is to relax into it and let it build naturally as opposing to force your uh, non-ejaculatory orgasms. So... A regular orgasm, you're forcing and tensing, uh, you're squeezing, right? Everything's tightening up. But non-ejaculatory orgasms is a relaxation. You're relaxing. You're feeling it pump and, and flow and pulsate throughout the entire body. Once you're able to do this, you're able to have a sex life. You're able to retain your semen. You're able to build that sexual tension, that ojas, that passion, that electricity, which is literally increasing the vibration and reconnecting your element, your, your, your light body or energetic bodies, your, your lower region. So from the, uh, from the pelvic, uh, from your sexual uh, organ to your heart, from your heart to the brain, uh, you're learning to, to anchor yourself into the Dantian, which is your gut intelligence. And that's, and you're learning to listen to the, that you're learning to operate where your mind is no longer just anchored at the level of impressions on the mind, but you're actually tap tapping deep into your own subconscious or your own, your own body, which is where your subconscious mind lives. And this is how you then begin to become 
a master manifester or a sex magician, right? Where you use what's sex magic. This is what the Celtic folks figured out. The end, this is what Napoleon Hill said about uh, your sex energy. He said, the individuals of greatest achievement tend to be those who have highly sexual natures or develop sexual natures and who have learned the art of sex transmutation. The emotion of sex is an irresistible force against which there can be no such opposition as an immovable body. When driven by this emotion, individuals become gifted with a superpower for action. It may be controversial contention, but sexual energy is the creative energy of virtually all geniuses. There never has been and never be, will be a great leader, builder, or artist lacking in this driving force of sex. So building your sex drive is the key to success, abundance, and spiritual realization. Your desire for sex and sexual attraction are directing your life. For normal guys, this is happening at an unconscious level. Sex energy is the most powerful force in the material universe. For us semen retention soldiers, sexual alchemists, we're bringing it to the conscious level and we're working with it. Imagine what you can create when you harness that sex energy and pour it right into the pursuits you want. It will, be, it will build your business, it'll enhance your sexual experiences, it'll unleash your creative talents, and it will supercharge your aura. Sexual energy bonds you to things. So the question is, what are you bonding it to? The biggest obstacle to developing a strong semen retention lifestyle is constant ejaculation, is that you're actually, as you cultivate higher, higher sexual energies uh, and higher and higher sexual passion within you, your desire for sex is going to go up. So it's going to be almost counterintuitive. You're going to be like, I'm getting more horny. <laughs> and now I want to ejaculate more. It's going to bring up all of your sex, who you are as sexually. It's going to bring up all your impressions. So constant ejaculation is going to deplete you from becoming the ultimate man and everything that you were meant to be. It's going to drain you of your life force and power. It's semen is the essence of the body. And it takes a ton of energy to create. According to Ayurveda, it takes 40 to 60 ounces of blood to create one drop of semen. Semen has been scientifically validated that the best enzymes, proteins, and nutrients, and zinc law and zinc, and, and there's tremendous amounts of zinc loss every time you ejaculate. Well, prolactin is released into the system every time you ejaculate, and prolactin slows down testosterone production. Why? Because of increasing your desire to procreate and then transmute it. So increasing your desire first for completion on the level of biology. Then if you choose the level of spirituality is to transmute it, you have to actually increase that desire. But if you're constantly ejaculating, your body is releasing prolactin because it thinks you're doing its biological duty. You're like, oh, yes, it doesn't know that you ejaculated into your tube sock. <laughs> It doesn't know that you wasted it down the toilet. All your body knows, your body's awareness ends at the body. All it knows is it did its job. So it, it rewards you with some dopamine. It says, great job, here's dopamine. So you're like, yeah. So that's the immediate, yeah. But then the prolactin comes and now you're lethargic. You And it's like, well, you don't need to develop more testosterone because you're, you're obviously a, a big Casanova, you big man on campus, right? Look how much you're ejaculating. You're going twice a day. You must be the big man on campus. Of course, you, though, at the mental level, as a conscious being, understand that you ain't the big man on campus. You know, it's all fake. You're not really doing anything. And that comes the disconnect. That's why you disconnect yourself from your sexuality. You disconnect yourself from your heart because you're like, you know, deep down, you ain't the big man on campus. Semen retention boosts testosterone within seven to 10 days as your body begins to recirculate it. Nature is perfectly designed. When you don't bust, you hold your semen, nature then says, hey, within about seven to 10 days, it goes, hey, you're not using all the best stuff. We've stored all the best stuff in your semen so that it gives the best opportunity for life. But since you're not using it, I'm going to use it, I being the body. So what we're going to do is I, the body, is going to recirculate it around, going to take all the best enzymes, going to take all the breast nutrients. It's going to recirculate it around. 
This is why you get cellular healing. This is why you get better function. You get mental fog dis disappears because you're starting to detoxify yourself. You're starting to circulate your best stuff. Strong body, strong cells, comes strong mind, comes strong aura. Strong aura comes strong awareness, comes realization and evolution. Semen retention through sexual alchemy creates a surplus of energy. And all the big players do it. Whether it's the big players in business, the big players in, in spiritual life, the big players in world politics, Nikola Tesla, Mike Tyson, Kanye West, King Solomon, Muhammad Ali, Steve Jobs, Sir Isaac Newton. They all talked about some kind of semen retention. Some were celibate monks. Others, like Steve Jobs, would pull out. Muhammad Ali would take sex breaks. Mike Tyson did five years of, 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 of no sex. King Solomon had 700 wives, had lots of sex, but practiced semen retention. The, the Chinese emperor, the yellow emperor, who actually, he was the one who suppressed a lot of this information from the general public, from the Taoist scriptures. And, uh, and uh, anyways, you know, he had sex all the time, but he didn't ejaculate. He became a great emperor. Muhammad, um, not Muhammad Ali, Mahatma Gandhi talked about the power of semen retention as, you know, as one of his the re main reasons he was able to accomplish what he did. Semen retention and nofap are not enough to get all the benefits. Anger, irritability, and, fe and the feeling of being stuck comes from the stuck or stagnant energy. This is where most guys relapse. Transmutation turns this raw form of semen into ojas or magnetic energy. And this is a spiritual energy which fuels and relieves the tension. By transmuting, your body gets nourished and you add years to your life expectancy. You're no longer depleting your life force. Most men say they can't practice in the modern age because they're in a relationship. When they find a partner and start having sex regularly, they fall back into old habits and patterns. Having real sex is better than masturbating to porn, but excessive ejaculation during real sex still leaves you energetically depleted. You don't need to give up sex to retain. You do need to learn to control your ejaculation and retrain your body. In fact, You'll have the best sex of your life while living in an energetic surplus and attracting all your dreams and goals because you're developing your magnetic aura. So a manifestation practice is as you learn to retain your semen for long periods of time, 30, 60, 90 days and beyond, intentionally create goals that you will focus on each morning and night. And I help you do this as part of becoming a soldier in the army. Because you will be living with a surplus of energy, you will notice your belief systems change to one of abundance. You now start thinking bigger because you have the energy to see yourself manifesting bigger results. It first comes from your direct vibration or energy. You will break through your limiting beliefs and move past scarcity, fear, and self-doubt. You will have unshakable confidence in your abilities because any man who can control his ejaculation and sex energy can control his destiny. Fellas, are you with me? Say yes in the chat box. Let me know if you've gotten value. <laughs> Awesome. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Love it, guys. Thank you. Ashwin says yes. I say Ashwin's name because I called him out. He's a soldier already. <laughs> Wicked cool. Yes. Fantastic. All right, guys. So what's next? I've given you some foundational techniques. Uh, I think I've emphasized the need of practice, though. So you could take what you've learned, you can run with it. I've got other free things you can do. But the reality is, is if you want to become successful, have the non-ejaculatory orgasms, be able to have the sex life, still retain your semen, be able to transmute that energy, be able to pour it into your goals, 
You have to practice because you have to cultivate the energy and cultivate the ability to hold your mind on a singular focus. Now, this trait, it's amazing how fast you can do it. You don't have to spend years and years and years in this practice. I'm not like a join me for life kind of guy. I am though saying join me for a year at least because it takes, I've in my experience, have working with, again, entrepreneurs and training people for close to a decade, you know, we can do, oh, it takes 30 days to do a do habit, 90 days. Guys, it takes time because what you have to do is you have to make real adjustments. I'm about real transformation, real change and real results. And so I want to work with guys who are in it to win it. And that means you're dedicated. So what I do is I ask guys to dedicate to a year with me, but I give everyone up front two weeks free so that you can test it out and make sure that it's for you. All right. Now, I know once you start working with me, you're going to see the value. So when I say working with me, what do I mean? And what am I giving you two weeks free of? Okay. So I'm going to share my screen here. And I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to show you. Do, 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 my. Uh, I'm going to show you the semen retention army. All right. And what the SEMA Retention Army is, is a train is a year long training program so that you learn to control your sexual energy over a year. All right. So again, this is you don't have to study this stuff for life. It's not like like a very deep intellectual practice. It's a very physical practice and mental practice. And within a year of training, you will notice a tremendous amounts of difference in yourself. So I want to invite you to join me for two weeks free into the semen retention army. And then I'm going to share all the information about it now. All right. So here is where you're going to learn how to become a sexual alchemist. I'm going to send you this link right here that I'm looking at so that you can check and you can read through all this. But what I want to bring your attention to is the course curriculum. So here's how it works. When you join, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get access to this entire curriculum. Okay. And as long as you're a member, you're going to have access to it. Okay. And you're going to get additional trainings as well, but I'll explain that in a sec. So what you're going to do is over, we're going to set a schedule. I've laid it out by weeks, but we can go a little slower uh, because, uh, you know, depending, because again, I'm realistic about, you know, practice time and what it takes. You need to dedicate four to five times a week minimum. If you could do four week, four times a, a week, 20 to 30 minutes a day, four times a week, you can learn to master your sexual energy with these practices, okay? So that's what you're looking at, okay? So what you're gonna learn at first is how to clear your sexual energy through the different breathing techniques. You're also going to learn to use different breathing techniques to put yourself Hey guys, sorry, it, it told me that it was pausing. So I'm trying to uh, go back here. It says your, sc your screen share is pausing. All right. <laughs> I don't see you're sharing the right screen. So it says post attendee screen. All right, let's try that again. All right. get the technology down right. All right. So doo -doo -doo, let's try that again. And share screen. See my retention army share. Guys, can you see this? All right. Good stuff. So this is the curriculum. So when you come to I'm going to send you this link. You're going to get access to this curriculum. All right. You're going to go through these practices. 
You're going to first learn how to do the basic breathing techniques to energize, to cool your energy so you last longer. Lasting longer in the bedroom is largely controlling the breath. You're going to learn how to do the sexual vitality breathings. You're going to learn a form of mantra meditation for mind control and sexual acceptance guidance meditation or self-acceptance. A lot of us carry a lot of shame, guilt, body issues. The first thing to have a sexual healthy relation, to have a healthy relationship with your sexual energy is self-acceptance. Okay. So we're going to help you there and to inner alchemize. You're going to learn the powerful six healing sounds to also clear yourself. In week two, you're going to start to clear your energetic body. You're going to start to learn to move energy through transformational breath work. I mentioned that in the training. It's going to blow you out of your body. It's amazing. You're going to learn some sun salutations, a yoga flow, as well as the G-Gong microcosmic orbit opening flow. This is going to be a tremendous practice because it's going to open that microcosmic orbit so that you tangibly feel the energy flowing through your body for full body orgasms and overall vitality and energy um, cultivation. Then you're going to learn the microcosmic orbit, so the different meditation points in full. You're going to learn the standing meditations to ground your energy. You're going to learn deep earth pulsing, which is a very grounding and connecting. This week is all about learning to settle the energy so that when we start to arouse it, you know how to ground it. Okay, so you got a male, a female, and a ground, right? You know, type of thing. You got to be able to ground your energy. So here you learn all these different ways of relaxing back into the, the parasympathetic nervous system. And that way your energy stays flowing upwards. Your energy stays within the body and you don't need to ejaculate. In week four, we then start to arouse that energy through testicle breathing and start to move that energy up throughout the body. You're going to learn your pelvic floor muscle workout so you have greater strength and control. You're going to work the subtle muscles around the anus, around the testicles. You're also going to learn some different massages uh, for, for greater uh, strength uh, in the penis as well. All of, it, all of your floor muscles need to be strong for overall health. You're going to learn the sexual energy G gong flow so that you can move sexual energy throughout the body. I'm going to give you some tips on how to deal with wet dreams and nightfalls so that you can avoid those as much as possible. And just some overall sexual lifestyle and habits to consider so that you up, you up, um, uh, up level the entire practice. Then you're going to learn your more advanced techniques where you're going to actually learn to self-cultivate. So at first, you could start to use a partner here. I will do uh, partner application uh, stuff as well. But here, solo. So with a partner solo, you can cultivate and learn to circle that energy. You're going to learn the different types of orgasms and the different types of locks or different types of ways to uh, create full body orgasms, as well as transmute your sexual energy, power lock, so that if you're about to go over the edge, you know how to stop yourself without losing your semen. And then we're going to talk about transmuting that aroused energy and move through those exercises. And then you're going to learn some extra techniques, full body blast and immortal breath. You're going to have a, sex, a sexual vitality massage. So this is going to increase blood flow and tissue cir uh, and circulation. It's going to strengthen the tissues of your penis and testicles. So this is reversing erectile dysfunction, uh, helping with premature ejaculation, oversensitivity. Uh, then we're going to talk about manifesting and how to create and manifest. I'll give you a formula to use with your sexual energy. What do you do when you ejaculate? How do you recover? So I'm going to give you foods and different things to do so that you can have quick recoveries and also show you some different lengthening exercises so that you could strengthen and lengthen the penis if that is a concern or something that you want. It's just a bit of a bonus. A few of these are some bonus techniques. So you're getting incredible value. Look, guys, I've invested over $13,000 into learning these uh, practices and techniques. I've spent years uh, reading about it, learning about it, studying different traditions. Uh, I've weeded out a lot of the bullshit, the crap, the new agey stuff that doesn't work. I've broken it down to a concise program so that you can get to what works. You can learn this stuff in a year and you can rock and roll. So obviously I'm not going to charge you $13,200 to invest in this course. I don't expect that, but I do. Uh, I have put it at $2,000 and that is for the year membership. Now, what do you get fully? So first of all, 
you can have a 2000, you get a 15 day free trial. You can then pay the $2,000 up front, or you could break it down. It ends up being $2,400 over the year to 200 a month. Because you are here live on this training, because you have watched this training right to the end, I am also going to give you 50% off. So I'm going to give you two weeks to come work with me, to try it out, and then an additional 50% off because I want you to be, I want you to feel like this. I want you to be like, damn, I need this and I want it and I'm gonna do this. And here I've got incentive to do it because I know you will get the results. So you're gonna use the coupon code. I'll write it in the description below for those watching the recording. For those here live, I will put it in the chat in just a sec. I will give you a coupon code, 50 off, five zero, the word O-F-F, -F, 50 off. So what you do is you click enroll now. It'll take you to the sign up. You say add coupon code. You say 50 off, apply, boom. It's going to take off 50%. If you do the full $1,000 up front, you'll save a few hundred dollars or it'll take 50% off and it'll be $100 a month. Okay? So you'll remove it. You'll come in. You'll put in your credit card information and then you'll have two weeks to cancel out before it gets charged. In those two weeks, here's what's going to happen. You're going to get full access to everything. Okay? Okay? You're going to get all the trainings, access to the trainings. You're going to get introduced into an accountability group. Me and you are going to get on a one-on-one -on -one coaching session where I'm going to help you set goals. And then I'm going to set up a tracking sheet where you're going to start to track your practices. And I'm going to hold you accountable to completing this course. You're going to track your ejaculations and your sexual habits and me and you in that one-on-one -on -one session we're going to create some goals outside of the bedroom as well or what's important to you we're going to create daily activities and i'm going to help you achieve those active those goals in a year i'm going to put you through my goal setting formula so we know they're good goals and they're going to be accurate lastly you're going to get invited into a semen retention battalion that is a troop of 10 men who are also practicing semen retention and this will be your support and accountability group. I will be in there as well. So you can ask questions. I give additional routines and trainings, motivation. I'm answering questions and holding you accountable. You've got other guys to connect with and share your experiences as well so that you've got camaraderie and support. Everything you need to be successful is there. Training, accountability, support, experience, and an open environment. You got 50 off coupon. Let me pop this actually into, um, let me just uh, pop this into the uh, chat box. Again, if you're watching the recording, just click on the link. There's the link. Go click on it. Go register right away because you get access to my calendar right away on video number one. And in my calendar, you're gonna book our first, our goal setting coaching session, our hour session together. And we could be doing that by Monday. If you go register right now, you're gonna use the coupon code 50 off. I just put that in the description. And that way you can uh, get your 50% off discount on your registration. You got two options for payment plans, guys. I want to thank you so much for being here. I want to thank you so much for sticking around to the end. I appreciate it. If you're watching the recording, go ahead and register. If you've got any questions or hesitations, reach out to me through the contact form on my website I'm ha or you know below, there'll be a link that you can click to, to send me a message. If you're ready to get started, get started. Guys on the recording, I'm going to stick around now and answer questions. Thank you guys so much.